everyone, and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's so nice to meet you. I hope that you all had a wonderful weekend. Let's sing our good morning song together. Stretch your arms out like airplane wings. We'll fly to one side, fly over to the other side, fly back to the middle, and now take your airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Stretch the circle up over your head. Let's stretch to one side, over to the other side. One more time up at the top, and now let's sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day so far. Before we get started on the calendar and weather chart, there are three things that we need to do quickly. Number one, turn on your listening ears. Number two, put on your thinking hats. Today my thinking hat has a ribbon underneath my chin, so I'm going to tie it up into a bow. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Will you show me how we do that? That's right. Boom, 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 boom. And now we are ready to get started with circle time. I have my pointing stick and let's go over the date together. The month is right up here. Do you know what the month is? July. And as you can see, the month of July is almost over. We are heading into the last week of July. Today is July 26th. So let's move the chip over from Friday. Friday was July 23rd, so we're going to move it to the number 24, 25, and put it right over the number 26 because today is July 26th, and the year is 2021 or 2021. So like I said before, we are heading into the final week of July. Let's use our counting fingers and see how many days we have left in the month. Warm your counting fingers up by giving them a little stretch. Will you count with me? After today, we only have one, two, three, four, five. We only have five more days left in the month of July, and then we will begin a brand new month. Let's sing the 12 months of the year song and listen carefully for the month that comes after July. It goes like this. January, February, March and April, May and June, July and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in a year. Did you hear the month that comes after July? August. August will be here in just a few more days. Now it's time to sing the Days of the Week song together. So hold up your seven fingers like this, and if you know the words, you can sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. At the bottom of the chart, we have the days of the week to go over together. So I will give you the sound that the day starts with, and if you know what the day is, you can say it out loud with me. This says that yesterday was S Sunday. Yesterday was Sunday, the last day in the weekend. So that means that today is M. Monday, the first day of the weekday. And tomorrow will be T. Tuesday. But let's go back and sing Today is Monday together. Will you sing it with me? 
Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long. Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long. And if we travel back up to the top of the chart, we have the season. What's the season right now? Summer. That's right. It is summertime. And this week, it is supposed to start feeling more like summertime. At my house for the past few weeks, we have been getting so much rain, but it looks like the sun is finally starting to come out again. Let's sing the weather song together, and then we can talk more about the weather. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So outside of my window today, I see a few clouds in the sky, but it is still mostly sunny. And my temperature chart is on orange because it's warm. Today is going to be warm and mostly sunny. A beautiful sunny day where I live. What do you see outside of your window? Take a peek and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing with me. Now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Because today is Monday, we have a new letter to talk about. This uppercase or capital letter says P. P. Can you make that sound? That's right, friends. And this letter is an uppercase or capital P. P says P, P. Are you ready to guess what I have today that starts with the letter P, P? It's actually not inside of the letter box because it's a little bit too large to fit, but I have it right up here in front of me. Here's your first clue. This is something that you put a plant in and it keeps it growing. So you fill it up with dirt and then you put your plant in and you water it. What is that called? Do you know? This is a pot. So a pot starts with the letter P. P. I filled this pot up with dirt and then I put my plant in it and I gave it lots of water and sunlight and now the plant has flowers growing. P is for p pot. This is how you write in uppercase p, p. One more time. And here's the number of the week. This is the number nine. Friends, will you hold up nine fingers for me? Let me show you nine fingers. I need to put my board down because I need to use both of my hands. I'm going to hold up one hand for five fingers and I'm going to add four more fingers to make nine. Nine fingers. Now let's count to the number nine together using the large bead frame. This week we are going to be counting to the number nine together using the large bead frame. We will be counting the green beads, which are the units at the top. Let's count nine units together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine units. I have one more thing to count before we move on to the side of the week. Inside of the box, I have some blades of grass. As I count them, I'll line them up across the top so that we can count them together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one more makes nine. Nine blades of grass. And now let's move on to the sign of the week. 
This week, we are going to say moon in sign language. Remember friends, sign language is a language that uses hand gestures and facial expressions to communicate instead of speaking words out loud. So in order to say moon in sign language, you're going to take one of your hands and you're going to use your thumb and your counting finger and curve them in an inward motion like this. It looks like the letter C. And then you're going to bring it to your forehead and your eyes and move it out. Let's try that again. Moon. Moon. Have you ever looked up in the sky and wondered what else is up there? We can stand outside and look up and see the sky, the sun, clouds, the moon, and the stars. But there's even more way up there. Much, much more. This week we are going to be learning about outer space. We'll talk about the planets in our solar system, the moon, and the stars. So let's talk about our solar system. We live on planet Earth, but there are seven other planets in our solar system. So eight planets altogether. These planets and their moons travel or orbit around the sun, and that makes our solar system. Let's take a look at a picture that I have, and I'll show you how it works. Right here, I have a small model of our solar system. As you can see, it involves the planets, the sun, which is a large star, but I have not included any moons. So let's get started on a description of each of the eight planets. And we are going to start from the one that is closest to the sun, which is Mercury right here. So as you can see, Mercury is the smallest planet. It is closest to the sun, which means that it's the fastest and only takes 88 days to travel around the sun. Next, we have Venus over here. Venus traps heat, so it is the hottest planet in our solar system. And then we have Earth. This is where we live, and it is the only planet that we know of in our solar system with living things. It's also the only planet that has water on its surface, and the planet Earth has one moon. Over here, we have Mars. Mars is very dusty and cold, and Mars has two moons. Next, we have Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet. Right here you can see a red spot on the surface of Jupiter. And Jupiter is made mostly of gas. Jupiter does have rings around it, but they're hard to see. And Jupiter has 53 confirmed moons. Right over here we have Saturn. Saturn is surrounded by visible rings, which are made from ice, dust, and rock. And just like Jupiter, Saturn also has 53 confirmed moons. Right over here, we have Uranus. Uranus is a bluish color and it has faint rings. Uranus spins on its side and it has 27 moons. And then the last planet over here is called Neptune. It is similar to Uranus because it's a bluish color and it has six faint rings which are hard to see. This planet is the farthest away from the sun. It's dark, cold, and very windy and it has 14 moons. Now that you've seen a picture of the solar system, would you like to make your own model? Let's go! Let's make our own model of the solar system. For today's work, you are going to need some Play-Doh and a few pipe cleaners. So I used my favorite recipe for Play-Doh, which I will provide in the description box below. And I rolled out eight balls, all different sizes. So I have the largest one right here, 
and then they gradually get smaller and smaller until I have the smallest one. And then I rolled out an additional ball that was even larger than these one. So this is going to represent the sun right here. And then over here we have our eight planets. So I put the sun in the center of this black piece of paper and I have Mercury right here. So Mercury is the smallest planet. I'm going to put Mercury right over here, closest to the sun. And next we have Venus. So Venus is a little bit farther away. After Venus, we have planet Earth. After planet Earth comes Mars. Mars is smaller than the planet Earth, so I want to make sure that I pick a Play-Doh ball that is smaller. And I'm going to put Mars right over here. After Mars, we have Jupiter, which is the largest planet. So I'm going to pick the largest ball right here, which is Jupiter. After Jupiter is Saturn. And Saturn has the visible rings around it. So I'm going to use this pipe cleaner to create the rings around Saturn. After Saturn is Uranus, right up here. And then the eighth and final planet is Neptune. So we have all eight planets which are orbiting around the sun. If you'd like to, you can use different color Play-Doh to represent each planet, or you can add some food coloring to your Play-Doh if you decide to make the recipe, and then go ahead and recreate the solar system. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give my video a thumbs up, and be sure to find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive summertime classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. We have one last song to sing before we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.